Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We have beautiful sounds outside and baby is popping the champagne. What's up guys, I am in Puerto Rico right now. Uh, we got you on Valentine's Day. Welcome to Puerto Rico! Love you babe. <laughs> and we're gonna be here for the next seven days. It's really, really, really pretty here. It's actually really far uh, in the Caribbean. It's really surprising that it's actually its territory. It's like in between the BVIs and Dominican Republic. Anyway, I'm gonna be here for the next week. We're just gonna like, hang out at the pool and the beach and all that. It's really, really pretty. I will show you guys around. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick tour, this is the room, there's a beautiful beach out here and this is just off the master bedroom. We have all the Valentine's Day decorations still up, I'm quickly going to show you the bathroom first, so there's this beautiful tub, outdoor shower, there's also another shower around that corner, and there's me, hi. Uh, around the corner here we have the main living room and see there's some more valentine's day decorations it's really pretty that's where we're staying so guys as you can see puerto rico is like practically heaven on earth small little slice of paradise down in the Caribbean I just I just can't believe that it's American territory it's so strange it's beautiful here and I'm so happy to be here I am obviously not taking much footage because it's Valentine's um, it's a Valentine's trip so I kind of just want to enjoy it with David and when I get back I will carry on making more cool little videos of what I get up to Oh, our drinks just arrived. It is 11.30 at night. We got home like a few minutes or like 30 minutes ago. I've been playing with Kai and I'm about to take a shower and go to bed, but I just want to show you guys. Look at them. My little babies are starting to grow. I don't know why these are like brown. Maybe that's like normal, but how cute. They're all starting to sprout. Alright, so today we have the kitties coming over around about lunchtime. Probably I'll probably have to fetch them around like 2.30. And then I think tomorrow we're gonna go to Vegas to show them the house because they haven't seen it yet. And we finally just finished getting like all the furniture and like all the cooking stuff. I think I have like a ton of boxes there still that I have to that I have to go through. Like, I can't even explain how much stuff I ordered, guys. So I'm like a super organized person. Like, not with, like, I'll throw my clothes on the ground and whatever, leave clothes over the chair and all that because it won't be dirty enough, so I'll wear it again. So not like that, but I mean, if you open all my drawers, I'm actually gonna show you, I'll take you upstairs and show you my drawers. I literally so organized. So I got all these like organizers, like, boxes to put the candy in and a little egg thing so when you pull out an egg the next roll down and really cute like Japanese paw print like soap dispensers and every drawer has got little boxes and all the candy and all the whatever is organized a uh, spice rack in the drawer so you open it and all the spices are like beautifully out uh just so many things well, anyway so it's just been so much and endless and i've just been busy with that kitchen forever like we didn't even have cutlery 
didn't even have an egg whisk, didn't even have a spatula. So it's just been restocking absolutely everything and it's been pretty tiring. I don't think I've filmed being in Vegas for the last four weeks, five, six, seven. The last time I filmed, we were like having fun in Vegas, but after that, we kind of got more serious and we're like, okay, we need to get the house together. Like, let's stop just enjoying the house and inviting people over and like, you know, having fun. It's like, gets get busy. So when I get there, we're gonna have the kids with us and I'm gonna be probably getting activities for them to do. I wanna take them to the store and buy a whole bunch of fun toys and, you know, coloring and things and art supplies, whatever they wanna do. And then I'm gonna be busy with the boxes. So yeah, we're leaving tomorrow and I'm fetching the kids in an hour or two. Anyway, enough of the ramble. I am gonna do some stuff before I have to pick up the kids. Why did you take your bed? Why did you take your bed? I love pretty little things. I just got a bed there. I'm vlogging, if you're wondering who I'm talking to. This was supposed to be for my trip, and I didn't get you on time. Pretty open sides. This is really pretty. <laughs> oh my guys. I'm so sad this didn't arrive for Puerto Rico. This was what it was for. That's really pretty. It's like a bikini cover up. I really needed that when I was there, but we will. This one's really cool. Really sad this didn't come in time. I bought this. Oops. What the heck? Oh, it's a cover-up. Oh, it's pretty. That's cool. That's really cool. It's like see-through, but like got holes in it. Okay, guys, let me show you what else I ordered. This, I love the tin, and I'm obsessed with like Chinese, Japanese stuff. So the cookies in here, once the cookies are finished, I'm gonna use those to make my hair ties and all that in. This came free with it. I think it's really cute. You kind of put like hair ties, or nail clippers or whatever when you travel so it's like easy it's transparent then this this was my, my own gift to myself for valentine's day it's called apm monaco and they have like really cool cute jewelry okay guys this is like for your ear it's really cute and look at these they're not that expensive they're like a hundred bucks a thing so i don't think they're real but they're cute those are like little earrings these ones I got this cool one for the, your ear and then the cuff for the top. These, your ear sticks out the bottom of that. So that piece is at the back. I don't know if you can understand, but yeah. So that's where your ear sticks out and there's a triangle on your ear. And then that piece like hangs out the back, which looks really cool. So they just got really cute things. And I just got a few things to like, like dress up jewelry, you know. I need to unpack. All right, all right, all right. Guys, so I just got back, so everything is pretty messy. Took that out last night and need to unpack the bag down over there still, but told you I'd show you my organized drawers. Like, obviously, I haven't filled these yet, but look at this. Everything is in a place. Brushes, lip liners, brow pencils. These are kind of, like, big things that didn't fit in there. More brushes, all that type of stuff. Everything is organized. The next drawer, that's just a bit skew. Literally, everything has a place. Buns for the hair, clips, the ponies, 
all organized and I use these little they're like plastic organizers and you build them up and you put everything in look at that and then the last drawer all my vitamins And the day continues, so I'm just quickly going to take out all my dirty clothes, put them in the laundry basket, and then the clean ones I'm going to leave there for Maria to unpack. How nice that texture spray is in my hair. It's the R.O.B. texture spray. So much better. I hated this short hair when I first cut it. This, this looks a lot better. I am writing a book. I can't remember if I told you guys or not, but I have written quite a bit. Uh, so I'm just gonna carry on with that. All right, all right. I've been writing for quite a while. I have to leave now because I have to go get the kiddos. I'm so excited for this book to come out, guys. It is fiction and reality. I don't even know if I can say that, but it's kind of like my life. Like some things are true and some things are not, but it's based upon real things that have happened. And then I'm also adding in like this whole like, like not real thing, like my dreams and stuff are gonna be in there too. So anyway, it's probably gonna take me a few months to finish writing it but i have been honestly thinking of an idea for a book for about six years and everyone has their own idea of what a perfect book is and i finally figured out mine i think they're going to be about four or five books in the series because it's not all going to fit in the first one but the first one's going to be a really good introduction so yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to be doing this for the next few months and then hopefully it'll come out soon. And I hope you guys give it a read because I am very excited about writing my first book. Okay, I better get going. I'm not going to vlog the rest of the day. I'm gonna end the video here. Let's see, I'll see you guys in like four days because the kitties are only here for four days. And yeah, bye.